glasses on, you know what I'm saying? That's right, man. We just picked up a few jewels. Sorry about the microphone squelch, screech, screech, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? It's your man to stayed in the building. You know what I'm saying? It's DJ in case you didn't know. Let me see what's on a couple of these, man. Now, some of the stuff I pulled out the vault is a lot of dance music and stuff like that on that section of the shelf, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know what a cover to this is. But yeah, man. As we all know about the problems with the two dot such and such dot four, right? Hopefully today we will not have any problems saving, you know what I'm saying? So we don't need none of that. And why does this seem like it's crooked have been moved around? All right, so yeah, let's see what we got here, man. Just set the sampler up. We're gonna go in and input three and four. Cause as you know, plugging the turntable such as this, right? A techniques, whatever you got, JVC, whatever it is, there's a preamp built into the MPC. You plug the left and right RCA phono into the MPC in the rear, attach the ground wire to get rid of hum to the MPC and select phono on the rear. Okay, all right, that's lesson one today, all right? Okay, all right, what do we got in here? This is um, Alicia Myers. So we're gonna speed this up because we don't want to get you know what, right? That's what we're doing today, making boom bap. So let's find a little something else here. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyone know what this is? Gonna be a classic. That's right, Playboys. It's gonna be a classic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I might just go ahead and hit threshold on here, man. We're gonna go ahead and convert this anyway, okay? We're gonna convert that heck out of that. We're gonna put it right here. All right. All right, and then we're gonna go to pro program edit, right? There we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so let me get the 16 levels and I'm gonna go on there to velocity, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna get the BPMs around 87, which was a very good year. I would notice because I was there.
All right. Now we got a little bass, right? And what I mean by bass, not low frequency bass. I mean like we have a foundation. A bass is a foundation, right? So we got the daggone hi hats with that little rim shot or whatever you want to call it, right? So we're gonna call this DR M1. You know, I mean, say <clears throat> one, which stands for drum one. Because yes, you know, I always use more than at least at the two minimum kits, right? Your man's Curry State knows what's up, all right? So now, let's go and mess with another sample, all right? Gotta find it on here some freaking where. And it should be coming up. There we go. Let me see. Uh, We got us a nice little sample to mess with, right? Now we got a little sample. Fingers, you know what I'm saying? Got up in uh, in the situation here. Let's go back to sample. All right, all right, that's not it. We're gonna go to uh, what's two. sure how that's going to sound because I don't know if I was only on point with that joint you know what I'm saying 
And I think that's it. Okay. go ahead and do what I said I was going to do and that is find some drums okay so I'm gonna go back to the external drive right I already got drum programs already ready so we ain't gotta be sitting around here fumbling through a thousand and one kicks and all that crap you know what I'm saying so we're gonna put these tape deck drums in there we'll see what they got drum number two right yeah all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and make another sequence okay all right name the number two all right there we go now we go
<laughs> now, what was going on with that, man? <laughs> Flip. I don't know if y'all heard that in there. Where's that sample? It. So we're gonna go ahead and bounce that as well. That's right. No, I don't know what the mute mute group does, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this. All right. So yeah, man. We go up here to this unused joint, and we're gonna find that other bounce, which is all the way down here at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. So you digging in the crate, right? You're looking for beats, you're looking for samples, you're looking for voices, you're looking for horns, you're looking for drums, whatever it is, right? Sometimes it don't time and always always go right, and that's why you just move on to the next, you know what I'm saying? And that's what this video is about. Basically, uh, I didn't know it's gonna be about when I started, but now it's about moving on, man. Just move on. We come back to that later, you know what I'm saying? We got two two sequences maybe we can work with. It could be two different songs. What you think? You think they could be two different joints or the same joint with a little bit more tune and put it in Ableton and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's, that's how it goes down sometimes. Major Man, Kirk State, we pull our vinyl out the vault, bring it in here to the studio, see what we got going on, then boom, it's on and popping. But 
time it don't get popping. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta spin the block, come back, and get it popping. You know what I'm saying? So it's your man, Kirk State. Yo, lesson learned. Let's go. Peace.